Hello and welcome to Mickey Out. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm taking the, um, the bubbling mud technique that I did a few days ago. Uh, if you want to check that out um, at the end of this video there will be a link to my Acrylic Pour NZ playlist and you can uh, go and check that out. But I'm taking the bubbling mud technique and this is what it looked like and so many of you said it looks like roses and I thought hmm I can do roses so this month's challenge on acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group is red and I thought well we've got Valentine's coming up red roses why not? And I found this little purse, and I've done purses before. You guys have all seen me do purses before. Found this little purse at AJ's, and I think I've nearly bought them out of stock of purses that have got a smooth enough um, base fabric to paint on. And I've unscrewed the screws. Just take those off. And then all we need to do is undo the stitching. See here, on this you've got the concertina gets stitched in, on, on one slot and just by unpicking that one set of stitching I can take, I can open it out flat. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll be right back. Ta-da! There it is. It's all flattened out. Um, and I've just put some masking tape down um, to, to hold those bits in place otherwise they can flap around a little bit and all I'm going to do is sit it on top of this takeaway container and have it nice and reasonably flat um, there is more on one side than on the other so sometimes I pack it out a little bit and uh, sometimes I just go, eh, nah, whatever. If what will be, will be. Now, avoiding pink. I really don't want pink in this because I want it to look like blood red roses. So, what are my colours? I don't have a blood red um, paint. Um, but what I do have <coughs> is crimson. So we're going crimson. And I'm going to mix it with some gold. And then I am going to also have some Payne's Grey. Now Payne's Grey is like a dark blue black colour. Um... It's black, but if you water it down, it goes blue. So, talking of watering it down, so look at this. See, there's kind of a blue hue to that. Whereas black would be just black. And when you water it down, you get grey. You water this down, you get a kind of a blue-grey rather than a grey-grey. So I don't have much of that. But what I do have will be enough just to give us... If you look at these down in here, it's really funny that I picked this wallet before I decided what I was going to do with it and it turns out that it's already got roses on it. But what I'm looking to create is um, kind of like a, a darkness and then a highlight of gold. Who knows? We'll see if it works. Eh? So I don't have a lot of the Payne's Grey mixed up. Let's see and it's very thick because it's been mixed up for a while so let's get our gravy jug out because that's how we do this it's how we roll around here now what's a gravy jug I've had people ask me it's actually called a gravy separator and what it is is the spout comes from the bottom and you pour your meat juices into the jug let it sit for a few minutes and all the fat rises to the top. 
and then when you um, when you pour you are only pouring from the bottom so you're pouring off the juices and not the um, still too thick not the fat you leave the fat behind in the gravy jug so it um, it's one way of making your gravy less fatty um, all right so what I tried last time was I put in the brown and then I poured the white on top and then it didn't didn't kind of mix so what I thought I would do is kind of do a bit of a dirty pour with a majority of red that's really run really thick too what's going on here world um, the majority of red and then just threads of the black and the sorry the Payne's grey and the gold through the red so that's the plan let's try it is that gold actually running enough yes good so Just threads of it. See what I mean? Let's see if it works. Hey, worst comes to worst, it won't work. So what I did was, um, I just did lots of little spiral pores. And it took a long time. So if you don't want to sit here and listen to me waffle, please, please, please skip ahead. gone all dark. Maybe I shouldn't have stirred it. What's right about this I'm not getting? So you'll see I'm moving around and putting my dollops in different places. If I just went along a line as the paint coming out changes, I would get a line of the same and then a line of the next same as they change and it would be an interesting choice. It's not right or wrong, it's just not the look I'm after. So while it's so dark I'm choosing to space that out a bit. It was interesting actually. Um, 
after I read your comments about it looking like roses, I actually looked in the box in my bedroom as I walked past and I've got a photo album in there that my mother-in-law gave me and it literally is white roses all clumped together. Kind of has that like wedding feel. Look at all that black coming out of there. I'm adding more red. This is just way too black. I need more red. I'm just going to drain that black back down the spout. And just break it up a bit with some red. Um, yeah, and so there was this, this photo album and it literally was white roses all clumped together, exactly as you guys had described. It was really funny. We seem to have lost all our gold as well. Let's put some more gold in there. The use of black and white really is something you need to be careful with in any acrylic pour. They tend to take over and if that's the look you're looking for, awesome. And If it's not, you need to be aware that that's what happens. Oh, that's a nice cool breeze. I'm just going to fill up. Some of these gaps just just so when we tilt it runs all over, not just And I always scrape out my jug because it's there's so much paint still in there. You may as well use it. That's my point of view anyway. And also remember that like the clasp's gonna go back on the top there, so we don't have to be too finicky around there.
so does it look oh wow <laughs> i've been so focused like so close up when i look up and look in the camera it's like oh that looks exactly how i wanted it to look how cool is that Just moistening up that material so that when we tilt it, it runs where we want it to run. Otherwise, it just all runs off in a nice little pretty stream, just like in nature. Water runs. in the path of least resistance so we're going to make it all the path of least resistance so it runs evenly hey you come over here Nearly done. We'll tilt it in a minute, guys. Now, unless there's some in the black and the gold that I didn't know about, there's no silicon in here. But I'm just going to pop any ear bubbles. But that looks awesome. I'm going to take a photo of that before we carry on all right it really does look like a bunch of roses thank you guys for the idea i love it when you guys give me ideas and now the trick is to not distort them too much as we stretch You know what, I'm actually going to leave it like that and just let it dry. One trick I have found is you do need to kind of curve the paint under a little bit just so that it covers the edges. So that when somebody's looking from the side of the wallet it's actually covered and that's looking awesome i love it i love it i love it i love it a lot yay all right guys uh what have we got dripped off anything of interest nope not really i'm just gonna leave it let it dry and i'll be back when it's dry Yay! How does it get any better than that? Um, do you need a close-up? Do you want a close-up? Let me bring it up to you rather than me get the camera down. Look at this. That's cool! Red bubbling mud <laughs> or roses. Up to you. We've kind of got a little bit of a runoff through the that's the the bend where the wallet bends but hey i don't mind i like it i do i do i like it a lot i'll see you soon when it's dry in three two one well 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 here she is all finished i'm so pleased with this ah uh, it just looks like um, 
It just looks like roses, which of course was the target, wasn't it? It's all bunched together and looking fintly astic. So uh, I've put the clasp back on. I still need to sew the concertina back up, which is just a bit of needlework. But I left it undone so that I could show you how it came out. Look at that. Look at all the glittering gold and... Oh, I love it. Now, I know that some of you are going to be asking, and I'll, so I'll cover it now. How do I seal this? Well, um, I don't. <laughs> um, acrylic paint is a very good sealer in itself. And really, uh, it's up to the person who's using it to decide whether or not they look after it or not, really. Um, you could put a, a sealer on there. It would need to be one that um, you know and trust as a flexible sealer because that area is, you know, it still opens to about that wide, even once it's had the concertina re attached so that bottom piece is going to be um, flexing backwards and forwards so I would definitely be recommending if you do seal it to use a flexible sealer something that does allow for the flexing um, yeah I'm super happy with that that is very very cool uh, yeah, grateful to all of you that made comments on my mud, bubbling mud pour, that, um, that it looked like roses. I'm, I'm very, 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 very pleased with this. How does it get any better than that? Um, so there you go, guys. How, that's my red pour for this month's, um, Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group challenge, pour with red. So uh, come join us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. It's a great group of people. Um, I'm not going to say that everybody is wonderful because in any group of people, which we're now about the 16,000 strong in that group, in any group that big, you're going to start getting trolls that come along and either post stuff that's totally irrelevant or um, is just looking for a fight. So please, 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 if they do come along, don't take offence to it. Just ignore them, report it to me, and I will deal with them. Um, there's no need to have big arguments and start that in the group. So um, come play. Challenge yourself. How can you play with red this month? That you've not been willing to do before what could you play with what could you choose what could you create and um, what else is possible so there you go that is that challenge and this month is my birthday month so jump into the birthday page on my website and check out the dollar reserve auctions there's a bit of a bidding war going on on some of those and i will be adding some new ones in the next day or so and talking about what's happening for my birthday i'm going live every week every single week so um jump in sign up you will be receiving an email in the next couple of days if you are signed up so just a word of warning we're going live soon so if you want to know in advance so that you can come on live and have a chat to me via the, the online chat, then that's the, e that's the website address to go to to sign up for my email list to get that notification. Uh, what else? What else? How much fun can we have? What else can we do? What else can I do with red? That's always a great question. I love asking questions and... What questions could you ask to create the reality you desire in your life and living? I adore you all. Have fun and I will see you tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. You're only 
a day away. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.